Hello guys, this is I Retrodo playing Road Rash 2 on the Mega Drive. Road Rash 2 is the second game in the motorcycle video game series by Electronic Arts. It was released for the Sega Genesis and it is heavily based on the engine and sprites of the first game. Road Rash 2 introduced several new features to the series, including bikes with nitrous oxide ejection and various weapons. The race take took place in the US states of Alaska, Hawaii, Tennessee, Arizona and Vermont. On progressively longer two-lane roads, races will be won by placing first, second and third of each five, five tracks, as opposed to the first game which would allow victory by placing fourth as well. After all the tracks have won, the player will advance to the next level, where the track will be longer and the opponents will be faster and much more money to stake for the victory or for a loss. Second Road Rash game introduced two major features to the gameplay. One was a fighting system in addition to the second weapon, the chain, where in the first game one strong hit would de defeat the opponent's life bar. In this game, each weapon's attacks dealt with the amount of damage. Another main addition to the gameplay is, is of the bikes, containing nitrous oxide injection which uh, allows all the users' motorcycles to accelerate beyond the top speed for a short amount of time. This addition would continue through the several games later in the series. One of the most noticeable difference in the game is to change the menu. Road Rash 2 made the navigation of menu screens considerably easier, as well as give, gave a game password less than half the size of the first game's passwords, and also several game modes were introduced alongside the two modes from the first Road Rash were true two-player game called Split Screen, where 14 and 15 players were replaced by human players and dual mode called Mano and Mano, where two human players can select up any bike, any weapon and over track as they wish before racing to each other. And it was designed by Roger Breen, Dan Glazier. Dan Glazier did the programming, Matthew Hobber did the uh, programming, Walter Stein did the programming. Artist was Peggy Brennan, Keith Bowen, Arthur Cook and Matthew Sarconi. Yeah, I've probably got a bunch of these names anyway. So. Yeah, this game is awesome. Uh, I had to thank uh, uh, one of my uh, YouTubers who I've subscribed to, Bill Thorpe, Player with Power, because I I watched him play this game and it is it's so great uh, going back on your old nostalgia memories. So I decided to play this game for you guys on YouTube Land. And what? I <laughs> Here's an interesting story about how I picked up this game. I went to cash converters in Hemel Hempstead, as you, I usually do, because I'm a, I'm the retro hunter. You know, he gets his cartridge spears out ready, <laughs> and then he goes, "I go in for the kill and buy that game." No, no, I'm only kidding, guys. I'm not like that. <laughs> I found the game in the VHS tape, and I couldn't believe. I went, "What is going on?" I asked the guy, I said, um, don't you have the original Sega Genesis cartridge, uh, cartridge case holder? He says, no, it just came in a VHS tape. Okay, I said, okay. <laughs> I bought it anyway. So, if I was to sell this game on eBay, I would probably get perplexing uh, uh, comments or <laughs> complaints saying, why have you got the original case? You're these game animations are so funny. If, you got, if you're a very last, like 8th, you get this uh, cool little animation of uh, the guy falling off his bike and his bike just falls apart and then screeches to a halt and then he just slides on his bum. <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and there's one, if you get busted, uh, the police will uh, handcuff you and they, and they throw you in the van. I, I really like that animation. I think that's just hilarious to watch. Electronic Arts know how to make comedic uh, <laughs> comedic animations work in these sort of endeavours of video game making. So, guys, which is your favourite weapon? Personally, I like the club. Don't ask me why, so, because I'm, I'm dying for a club sandwich, chicken club sandwich. No! Oh! <laughs> Get it? Club sandwich. <laughs> uh, actually, I think the first favourite is the club, and then the second one is the chain, because it has a better long range. And it does more damage if you whip them, I notice. So, I remember playing the PlayStation version of this back in the day. And guys, did you ever watch the intro of that stage? It was so 
it was so mesmerizing and over the top and it was psychedelic visual overload uh, it, that gaming nearly induced me to having headaches uh, I just I just always press skip the cutscenes because it's just the colors were too extreme for my eyes so I just decided to just play on with the game but I like the fact they improved the 3D models of that and uh, it's got better soundtrack as well so guys do you remember playing this game back in the day do you still play it to this day do you have great memories of uh, of uh, picking up uh, players as you race along the tracks <laughs> oh it's great to be a youtuber so guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as RetroDo says, Retro Forever, signing out.